and even like this many years ago, 12 years ago, they, there was just still uh, knew what the hell they were doing uh, back then and still having fun, man. This is freaking epic. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of React Attack. I am Morris. We continue our 30 days of Nightwish, and I believe we only have three more days left of Nightwish. This is Scar Tale. Now, I saw this one. It's an older one, 12 years ago, and it's a little bit longer one. So hopefully you guys are down uh, for the journey with me on this one. I'm excited to check it out. It's an older one. This is Scar Tale by Nightwish. Let's go. All right, March 2012. Oh, yeah. The year my... Wait, was that... Wait, what was the date? March 9th? Is that what it said? Sorry, Mar March... Fill in, okay, March 9th. Man, that was... Uh, my daughter was only a few months old there. Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh, that's not creepy at all. What is happening here? It's even the old frame rate, too. Clean that up a little bit. It's a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. This must be the, the intro to the show. The horses aren't even moving up and down. That's kind of, I'm not gonna lie, that's a little creepy. There we go. There's the band, let's fucking go. Crossing lights. Oh shit! Juka's rocking that double bass. Hell yeah! Dude, I love the energy coming out here. This it's raw and rugged, man, and the pyrotechnics are great, dude. And it's dark a little bit, and the, oh, I love it, man. This is so freaking cool, dude. And the double bass out of control. Let's see what y'all got. I want to hear this now. Oh, that's uh, the that, that second lead singer there, right? Okay. I don't think I've seen her live yet. And this is probably one of the ones that not a lot of people watch, I'm assuming, man. This one's kind of a little obscure, to be honest with you. At least as a, compared to what we've reacted to up to this point. This is very kind of obscure. But all right, let's take, I, I'm willing to give it a shot. And 
Yeah, and, uh, and like I said, I think with her, they they had this like little. It was like a more progressive, more forward kind of like metal sound. Uh, I think that's just what fit with her voice better. Um, this isn't bad. This isn't bad, and especially for being so long ago, dude. Like the band is fucking shredding. The melody is kind of interesting. The melody is a little interesting. I love it when the when the band is front and center, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go, Marco. Oh, this is great, yes. This is awesome. Now, this is super different and something I would not expect. I really love that, too. It seems like in the earlier years, they were really experimental, really trying to uh, branch out and just add a bunch of stuff together and see what worked. And and they made it work, man. They They made it work. Shanty song. Hell yeah. I like this is pretty awesome, man, to see this. And even like this many years ago, twelve years ago, they there was just still uh knew what the hell they were doing uh back then and still having fun, man. This is freaking epic, dude. Here we go, back into it, baby. Gonna have a big ass finish. I'm not going to lie. Even back in the day, they're incorporating the kind of screen in the back with the practical effects, the fire and all the special effects like that. That's super good. I, the, the blending is great, man. I, these guys have learned to put a good show on together. Now, I'm going to be critical here. I don't like these two's voice together as much as I like Floor's voice with Marcos uh, or even Tara's. So this is the performance. Awesome. Ben crushed it. Don't sure, not, I'm still not sure how I feel about her yet. Again, and, and they know how to write to their singer too. That's the other thing. Like 
you've got a singer who kind of fits a certain profile the band you know should know to kind of play to that style of vocal whereas like you have like floor who can really do anything and can just fit around whatever the band is doing which is really cool so um i don't know maybe i'm wrong on that one let me know in the comments down below let's finish this out y'all Hey, that's what I asked for the flames shooting up. That's what's up, man. Man, what a roller coaster. That's a roller coaster of a song, y'all. That was good. I, I'm not going to lie. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I don't think it was their strongest performance. Obviously, this being, you know, 12 years ago as well. So uh, there's that, but it's... I liked it, man. I, the music was cool. I love when they really break things up and they take you on those adventures. Uh, when it comes to like uh, the in and out of different kind of sounding music and stuff, uh, like with this one, you know, you, they kind of went into that more like circusy type feel, uh, back into that like double bass metal shit, more progressive, more, um, I guess, ear friendly metal sort of thing. Uh, they shredded it. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you all think of this one. We got a few more days left on our Nightwish journey. Uh, and we will continue to react to stuff after that as well. Um, and we'll be doing a live stream soon, too. So uh, we're going to be reacting to Nightwish live. I'm very excited about it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, like I said. Also, if you guys like this sort of thing, do me a favor. Hit the sub button. We hit 4K. We're going to watch the entirety of Vakken from beginning to end live on a stream let me know by doing that hitting that button all that good shit y'all know what to do with it i'm gonna get out of here we'll catch you guys on the next one remember everybody stay nuclear peace